Hello, my name is Miss Tina Carnham. I'm an ophthalmologist and I work in London uh, and Spire Hospitals. Today we're going to be talking about a special treatment for refractive surgery called ICLs. These are implantable contact lenses. The symptoms uh, for this uh, conditions are the same as for LASIK and SMILE. You may be long-sighted or you may, might be short-sighted or you may have something called astigmatism, which means that your eye is more like a rugby ball shape than football shape. So you will see blurry vision without glasses uh, for those conditions. That's what we treat with the implantable contact lens. It's like the contact lens that you wear on top of your eye. Instead, the surgeon will make small keyhole surgery to put the lens inside. I'll show you on this uh, model of the eye. So this is the front of the eye, and this is the iris where the colored part of your eye is. The contact lens looks like this. It's very thin and very pliable, and it goes behind the iris into the eye. The um, advantage of this lens is that um, it does not take away anything from your natural cornea or natural lens, uh, unlike the LASIK and SMILE procedures that you may, may have heard about. These um, procedures are not suitable for everyone, especially those with dry eyes, and implantable contact lenses are a perfect solution for those eyes. Um, if you are interested, then I would suggest that you look up for surgeons who do high volume of these uh, implantable contact lens and see if you fit the bill for this procedure by going through the consultation. Um, the added benefit of this contact lens is that if you don't get on with the lens, it's completely removable. The surgeon can, through the same keyhole surgery, remove the um, implantable contact lens. So there are some risks associated with this procedure. Uh, two of the main ones to be aware of is high pressure inside the eye, which can cause glaucoma, or early onset cataracts, which uh, may need uh, taking out um, sooner than later. So if you do uh, consider this surgery to be um, one of the suitable um, treatment for yourself, I would suggest that you go through a detailed consultation and discuss with your surgeon the pros and cons in your case.